Welcome everybody. Fresh cut here. No, I'm only kidding. Welcome everybody to some more Apex Legends. My last video I was talking about how Call of Duty isn't my main game anymore and I'm pretty much sticking with that. Not that I am never going to upload Call of Duty again. I am sure that it is still going to be very common for me to have Call of Duty in the background of my videos because it's just such a casual game. It's so easy to have there, but right now I just kind of want to stay away. I still hop onto the game pretty much daily, but I only play Blackout because Blackout is fucking awesome. Like, Blackout is still really good on Call of Duty because that's where they've been putting their focus on. However, I hop on, play a few games of Blackout just so I can get my merits or whatever so that I can continue the supply stream, and then I get off and I come and play Apex Legends because this is a way better game. To update you guys on my progress on this game, I've been playing quite a bit, and I am still enjoying it, still loving every single game I get into. I find myself not wasting any anytime I die I come back in I die I come back in it's just fucking amazing dude I just cannot believe how good this game is and I have actually improved a little bit on this game by no means am I like really consistent in terms of winning games but at the moment that is not what I am focused on right now the only thing I do is I just go to the most populated zones on the map I pretty much never land anywhere that isn't populated I'm always landing in the most populated zones because that is just the best way to get better and it's been helping me a lot especially with my accuracy because my accuracy just on PC is pretty fucking bad But if I'm getting in engagements all the time It gives me an opportunity to actually practice and I also went into the firing range in the training tutorial Section of this game and you know I was working on my recoil patterns and stuff like that overall just focusing on getting into fights and Improving myself as a player rather than focusing on getting wins because wins are not the important thing here The important thing is that I actually get my accuracy on point because right now I'm fucking ass if I do survive well then I'm probably out with a shit ton of kills and I have amazing loot because I'm dropping at the highly populated zones that generally have really good loot. So it's a win-win. I'm trying to just focus on the positives. If I die, well then I probably learned something from that death and something that I can improve on in the future. And if I somehow survive, well then I am probably going to have a pretty good game because if I am in those difficult situations and I manage to get out of them, well then later on in the game, I'll be able to use that experience that I had in that game and hopefully help myself in future gunfights. I'm no pro by any means, but if anybody is looking for advice on how to get better at this game, the best thing I can tell you is just don't be scared to push encounters that you normally wouldn't. Like, you really need to get out of your comfort zone. Don't focus on the wins. I think I have like two or three wins on this game, and I've been playing a decent amount. People just like to focus on wins way too much. I mean, I literally have IRL friends sending me photos of them winning in this game and rubbing it in my face as if I fucking give a shit that you have like 50 wins under your belt you probably got like two kills that game winning is not the important part here okay the important part is that you actually improve as a player oh god i'm getting so preachy and honestly even if my teammates don't go to the highly populated areas i don't give a fuck i am going to improve myself as a player i'm not playing for the people that are just randoms in my lobby i'm playing for myself and not that i don't want to play as a team but i just want to improve as a player and the majority of people just want to play like pussies and sit back and not actually do anything that benefits them yeah you might get a win but that doesn't really help you in the long run it just makes you a worse player because everybody else is improving and getting better while you're deciding to sit back but anyway regardless of me practicing and trying to get better as a player i've just been loving this game so much i know i say that so often but it it was getting really serious at one point on valentine's day i didn't get a huge opportunity to play this game and i was experiencing some withdrawals i told my girlfriend i was like it's probably gonna be the same situation as fortnite and all those memes and stuff of people ignoring their naked girlfriends who are hot ass chicks on the bed just so that they can play fortnite I told her it's probably going to be the same thing with this game Not that I was like that with Fortnite, but with this game. It's a completely different thing I mean, I'm just fucking ignoring everything else I'm telling you I can't wait to start streaming because normally when I was playing Call of Duty It was really difficult for me to stream for about two hours every single day because I just hated the game so much However with this I would have no problem streaming for like four hours straight This game is fucking incredible. But anyway guys speaking of Valentine's Day I'm going to explain to you guys a story that happened two days ago when me and my girlfriend were going out to a restaurant. We were just gonna go get some food. You know, we wanted to, you know, enjoy Valentine's Day together. Best Valentine's Day I ever had. You know, it was great spending it with somebody that I really care about. But anyway, me and her weren't planning to do anything super lavish for Valentine's Day. We were actually planning to maybe go out and just get some like fast food or something. I know, very romantic, right? But her parents had made a booking into a really, really fancy restaurant and they decided not to go. So they just ended up giving the booking to us. So we went to a really nice, very luxurious restaurant. 
restaurant. And I had been to this restaurant once before, and it is a really, really great experience. And we were getting ready to go. We had met up in town, and we were making our way towards the restaurant, but we were a little bit early. So right beside the restaurant is a music shop, and they sell, like, DVDs and music and vinyls and all these things. And me and my girlfriend, we like to just browse. Usually, I go over and look at Eminem, and then my girlfriend will go and look at good artists. And so we're in front of this music store, and we were about to walk in, but as we were walking in, we noticed an old guy on the side of the road who was balancing a pipe on his head. And I don't mean like some small little pipe. I mean like a proper like sink pipe on his head. He was just balancing it. He wasn't fucking holding it. It was just on his head. It was really fucking weird, but I decided to just brush it off. I just thought, okay, whatever, you know, just some weird people. I just brushed it off. My girlfriend thought it was really weird, but you know, whatever. So we walk inside this music shop and we're just looking around, but eventually I'd say about like five minutes after we're just browsing around, this old guy walks into the store and he walks up to me and my girlfriend and says that we're a very nice couple and he wants to get us both a gift for Valentine's Day. And immediately when I heard that, I was just like, I was just confused. I was like, okay, this is a very nice act just out of nowhere. At first, I was just like, it's fine. You don't need to buy us anything. Like, I didn't want to take from this guy because this guy was actually homeless. There is no reason this guy should be buying us gifts. We should be helping him out. He's the one who's homeless here. So I initially declined his offer and I just didn't want him to buy us anything. But he was really persistent. Like, he just would not take no for an answer. He started going on about how he's a man of God and he likes to give and he also told me that without doing nice acts he wouldn't have inspiration for writing his book that is coming out really soon so I started thinking about it and I was like okay that makes a little bit more sense maybe he is just a very nice guy who likes doing nice things for other people and that's his inspiration for writing a book which you know we all got our different ways of getting inspiration so I was just like okay fine I decided to pick something out but unfortunately it wasn't in stock I had initially picked the money store by death grips oh my god here we go again we're talking about death grips so i went up to the employees and i asked them do you have the money store by death grips on sale and so i initially asked for the cd they couldn't find the cd so i was like okay just get me the vinyl i was like i, I don't care the vinyl is more expensive but this guy is completely happy with buying me this so you know i, I might as well just you know splurge a little bit i i know i'm a terrible person no i'm only kidding it's just i couldn't think of anything else i didn't want any other the record I thought you know if they don't have the CD of the money store I might as well just get the vinyl but I find out that the money store even on vinyl is just not in stock the CD version the vinyl version is just not in stock and so the old guy hears this I don't know his name by the way I didn't ask for some reason or maybe he told me but I just didn't hear or I perhaps forgot it I don't fucking know but either way he hears that this isn't in stock and so he's like let me suggest some DVDs for you guys. And so he wanted to suggest specific DVDs that he liked and let us watch it. And he was going to buy me and my girlfriend the DVDs that he wanted us to watch. And no, they were not pornos. I had brought up this story to a few of my colleagues at work. And initially, the first thing they thought when they heard DVDs is that they were porn DVDs. They were not porn DVDs. He had suggested one movie that I can't remember the name of. My girlfriend still has them. And he had also suggested Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So he bought one copy of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs from my girlfriend. And then he had also bought three copies of the other film. One for him, one for me, and then one for my girlfriend. And let us keep two of the copies of those. And then the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for my girlfriend. And then he kept the one DVD of the movie that I forgot the name of. And so we're walking up to the queue. And this guy pays for the DVDs. And he gets the bag. Pops the receipt in there as well, which by the way, me and my girlfriend are gonna sell the DVDs because we don't actually have any use for them. We just didn't want to piss this guy off by saying no over and over again. And at this point, you guys are probably thinking, you should just take the gift. It's not like this guy wanted to specifically give you money. This guy bought you those gifts. This is where you're wrong, okay? This guy buys us the DVDs, hands us the bag with the receipt inside, and then on top of that, throws in another 40 euro and says, just keep the money, enjoy it, and buy yourself something nice with it. And I was just like, at this point, I'm just like, okay, there is no way I can take this. I just feel guilty. How the fuck am I going to take money from a homeless guy? And so I was like, no, seriously, please. Like, I feel really bad. I don't want to take this money from you. You need it more than I do. And this guy just gave me the same response saying that he wants me to have this money, that he just doesn't want to keep it because he just likes doing nice things for other people. 
people because this is how he gets his inspiration for his book, which by the way, I'm definitely going to check out his book. If the book is actually real and it's going to actually come out, apparently according to him, it's going to be Dublin spelt backwards. So keep an eye out for that. If a book is actually coming out and this guy's dropping a full book, I am hella buying that shit. I mean, it is the least I can do. This guy was just such a kind soul. Like I felt so bad taking money from this guy. He bought us 30 euro worth of DVDs and then on top of that threw in an extra 40 into the bag and just let us keep it. This whole situation was just so strange to me. Like me and my girlfriend, we were just fucking blown away. And to any of you guys wondering, was this guy on drugs or anything? Trust me, I had asked myself that question. And the answer is, I don't think this guy was on any drugs because I looked at him and he seemed completely fine. He seemed completely sane. He didn't seem like anything was wrong with him, which was the part that really confused me. I was thinking, is this guy actually sane and he's not on any drugs? He's just genuinely doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Needless to say, I'm happy that this happened because, you know, obviously it's a very nice gift and I appreciate that this guy did this for us because we basically covered our meals at the restaurant. But I'm just wondering, like, where is this guy right now? Did he need that money? And it's not like this was the only money that he had. For a homeless guy, he seemed to be very wealthy. When he took out a stack of money to pay for the DVDs, this guy had like 500 euro on him. It's not like the guy was lacking in terms of money. So I'm just confused. Like, how is this guy even homeless in the first place if he had so much money and I know that 500 euro isn't enough for you to get a home I'm completely aware of that but like if this guy is making money through some sort of means I am just confused that he's not living in some sort of apartment or just somewhere where he has shelter either way the whole situation was very strange but if he was happy giving us the money well then I'm happy taking it I've been asking myself some serious moral questions recently of whether or not I am a bad person for taking this money but he just really would not back down he wanted to give us this money but anyway that's pretty Pretty much it i've updated you guys on how i'm doing on this game and i told you that pretty fucking weird story let me know what you think of that in the comments below but other than that i'm gonna wrap this video up here so yeah guys that's pretty much the end of the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you smack the like button if you want to stay up to date with my content please be sure to subscribe i'll have my last video in the corner if you haven't checked that out already definitely make sure to check it out hope you guys enjoyed thanks very much for watching peace out